Hello, and welcome to Creative Coding. I am Dr. Abstract. Uh, these are lessons to help us learn JavaScript by using Creative Coding. So this is the first lesson, and I'd like to just take you through the site and the various lessons. This is the Zim site at zimjs.com, and it's a way that we can code on the canvas, the HTML canvas, using JavaScript. So it's learning JavaScript, but learning JavaScript to make these fun and colorful things. You can come here to the site, zimjazz.com, press on any of these, and scroll on down to see examples of the types of things that we can make. There's also a more section to see how Zim and the Canvas and JavaScript can help you make these types of things. So that's for everybody. We are going to take a look down here into Zim School now. And these are the lessons that we'll be following in this Creative Coding Lessons to Learn JavaScript. And there's eight lessons in total. Each will take you through different aspects of creating and working with a JavaScript. And the JavaScript basics are all in here, but they're a bit more colorful. Indeed, let's go to the student's introduction right here. Coding on the HTML canvas lets you build fun things like games, puzzles, and art. We use industry standard JavaScript with very visual results rather than just text in a console. So often when you learn JavaScript, you're learning how to put words into a console and it can get a little bit boring. <laughs> <laughs> and you do not have to learn JavaScript that way. It sometimes baffles us why so many people seem to want to do that. It's like, okay, you can make all these wonderful flowers in this beautiful big garden. And, and then you go in and people learn how to make this grass path through the garden. The path is okay, but there's like trillions of people making the path. We need things <laughs> we need things for the path to go to. And that's what creative coding is like. It's like, oh look, here it is. And and you can you can build this from scratch and anew just as easily, if not easier, than all that sort of complex making of the path and back-end server stuff. And I mean, not everybody has to do that. There's already enough people doing that. Come on in, have fun, make flowers. You'll learn the JavaScript basics uh, that will be fine to help you also build the path, but it's, 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 uh, it's really nice to do it in a colorful, friendly, fun way. So here are some examples of what interactive media can do. And there's an intro video that you can have a look at. We're using Atom, which is free. All of this stuff is free and fun. Uh, you just need a computer, an editor, and the internet, and you're happy. So there's an introduction about coding, but perhaps I'd just like to introduce where we're going to be uh, referring to the lessons and so forth, rather than go right into coding, the syntax, the patience, the logic, <laughs> that type of thing. There are also other resources here. Uh, Zim Code will give you the template that you can start on. Zim Learn is a whole uh, site, in a sense, big long page filled with things you can learn, including stuff like Code Zero. Code Zero is a video series that talks about code, assuming you know nothing about code, and it's a very philosophical thing. So even if you do know something about code, perhaps this will put it in a different light, a magical light. Uh, Zim Badges was uh, an early way in Zim to uh, help people, like a tutorial system that uh, you would get badges. There's Zim Tips on the current ways that we work, Zim Bubbling videos, and this is the What Is series. Now, we thought about promoting or further promoting the What Is series as a way to learn JavaScript, but it's um, three or four years old now and was uh, 
Java, the, the last version of JavaScript. So what we've decided to do is bring you all these new lessons, yay, that have been updated to ES6, or the latest version of JavaScript, JavaScript 6. Uh, let's just take you into one quickly, show you what it's like. We won't, be, we won't be doing our lessons directly from here, so I'm not going to come in and read these things to you. We're going to be doing our lessons in code. So that's, uh, of course, a, a great way to learn code. This is almost like the textbook that would, uh, that would ac accompany that. So we'll be following roughly the same types of things, introducing these display objects, what we can see. And, um, and there's an example. Uh, there's a, a new button that you can click, etc. So uh, these things are here, but there's also whoop, 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 practice sections where you can open these up and you're to type that in there it would be something like give me a new circle like that dot center on the stage dot drag and we haven't put the colors in there but you type that in you hit test and then you can test it right here like that there's also other ones on transformations and you see each of these have something that you would you would type in and uh, try out. So again, we won't be going directly over these. These are your uh, practice sections that you can that you can do later. Does that sound good? So this has been uh, the introduction video to what we're going to be doing creative coding lessons. I am Dr. Abstract. I've been doing this for a long time. That's me there doing some thinking. I've been doing this for a long time. I'm a Canadian New Media Awards winner for both programming and for education. And I really hope that you enjoy these lessons and can build something wonderful at the end of them. All right, cheers, and we have a surprise for you. This is a little bit of me. Now what I'm going to be doing is dancing in front of code that I've made. So uh, we'll see you in the next lesson. Bye.